Problems in third law of motion and law of conservation of momentum. Problem 1. A bullet of mass 10 grams is fired from a gun of mass 6 kg with a velocity of 300 meters per second. Calculate the recoil velocity of the gun. So let us see the data given pictorially. So there is a gun of mass 6 kg. Let us take this is M2 and a bullet of mass 10 grams and the bullet is fired and moving at a velocity of 300 meters per second. Now we need to find out what is the recoil velocity which is V2. So we know given first let us say mass of bullet M1 is 10 grams and velocity of bullet V1 300 meters per second and we need to convert the grams into kg as the momentum is in terms of kg so 10 by 1000 kg since 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams now we know mass of gun which is m2 which is 6 kg and velocity the gun when it recoils so we call it basically a recoil velocity of the gun so let us put it recoil velocity of gun is v2 which we need to find now we know from law of conservation of momentum momentum of bullet is equal to momentum of recoil hence m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 so here m1 that is of bullet is 10 by 1000 and v1 is 300 m2 is 6 so v2 is equal to 10 by 1000 into 300 into 1 by 6 so 6 fives and 0 0 0 5 twos 10 ones 10 twos so it is 1 by 2 0 0.5 meters per second so the velocity v2 is 0 0.5 meters per second problem 2 A car A of mass 1500 kg traveling at 25 meter per second collides with another car B of mass 1000 kg traveling at 15 meter per second in the same direction. After collision, the velocity of car A becomes 20 meters per second. Calculate velocity of car B after collision. Pictorially represent the same. A and B collides and again moves ahead. Now what happens? This is before collision, this is during collision and this is after collision. Before collision, the mass of the car A is, let's say it is MA which is 1500 kg and the mass of car B, MB which is 1000 kg and the masses will not change it is the same so here it is ma here it is mb and here it is ma here it is mb which is the same what happens to their velocities so when car a is traveling it is at 25 meters per second so va at this case is 25 meters per second and VB is 15 meters per second and after collision it is given for the car A VA is 20 meter per second that means the velocity has come down from 25 to 20 
Now we need to calculate after collision what is the velocity of car B. Now let's find out from law of conservation of momentum before collision total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision. So we will find what is total momentum before collision. So this is total momentum before collision. So I will put it under before collision which is MA VA plus MB VB which is nothing but 1500 into 25 plus MB is 1000 into 15 which will become 37500 plus 15000 which is nothing but when you add it up it becomes 52500 kg meter per second. Now after collision we will see what is the total momentum is equal to MA VA plus MB VB. So in this case MA is the same 1500 into VA is 20 plus MB is 1000 VB is VB since we are yet to find out what is VB. So this becomes 30,000 plus 1000 VB. Now we call total momentum before collision as PBC and total momentum after collision as PAC. From law of conservation of momentum, we know that, let's say, PBC before collision, momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision. That means momentum before collision is 52,500 is equal to 30,000 plus 1,000 VB. Therefore, VB is equal to 52,500 minus 30,000 divided by 1000 which is equal to 22.5 meters per second. After collision the velocity of B VB is 22.5 meters per second.